Assalamu alaikum et bonjour. Today, we are going to look at some useful expressions which you can use in a daily conversation. Now, uh, the useful conversation that we are going to look at, okay, some of some of it are, okay, you have to ask for names, to ask about one's well-being, to ask for an address, to ask for a nationality, to present oneself, and also to tell one's nationality. Okay, so now let's get started. Now, the first one is to ask for names. Okay, right. Now, you have the first one, to and vu. Do you remember what is to and vu means? To and vu mean you. Okay, the difference is to is for informal situation and vu for formal situation. Okay, now let's look at the questions and answers. Before that, let's look at the question first. In French, there are three ways or three variations of asking questions. The first one is, normally you put the WH at the end of the questions, like this. The second is, you put the WH at the beginning of the questions. And the third one is a bit different. You call it inversion, subject, and verb. Uh, in a normal practice, we put subject first and follow with a verb. Saya makan, I eat, for example. Okay, but for the question is, you put the verb first and it is followed with a subject like what we have here. It is what we call inversion, verb and subject. Okay, so there are three variations, three variations of asking questions in French. Okay, right, but it means the same. Okay, whether you put WH at the beginning or at the end, or you you put the verb first and subject later, it still means the same. Okay, for example here, number one, two, three means what is your name? Okay, now, so let's look at the questions and answer for how to ask for names. Okay, right, I'm going to read this. You have tu t'appelles comment? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment t'appelles tu? This is for tu. Okay, now let's look at the questions for vous. Vous vous appelez comment? Comment vous vous appelez? Comment vous appelez vous? Okay, now let's look at how it is pronounced. What are the letters which are silent and which letter to stress on? Okay, and where are the liaison or the link? We call it. Okay, the first one, tu t'appelles comment? Okay, comment tu t'appelles? Comment t'appelles tu? Well, if you have an apostrophe like this, do not cut the word into two, it should be one. It has to be to tapel common. Common to tapel. Common tapel to. Right. ENT is pronounced as on. Okay? Now, let's look at the link. I will call it liaison. Vous vous appelez. Common. Common vous vous appelez. Common vous. So all these questions means what is your name? Or actually it means okay, it means how 
How do you call yourself? Literally, it means how do you call yourself? But actually, it means what is your name? Okay. Now let's look at the answer. Do you have here? Je m'appelle Victor. Je m'appelle Jennifer. Okay. Je m'appelle. Again, you have apostrophe here. Do not cut this into two. It should be like ma. Je m'appelle. And the E is silent. Okay. Right. Now, let's move to the next question. So, you have here for il and for l. Il here means he and this one means she. So, here you have a question. Is uh, this question is what is his name and what is her name? Okay, so this one is il s'appelle comment? Comment il s'appelle? Comment s'appelle t Okay, right now il s'appelle comment? Comment il s'appelle? And comment s'appelle t name? What is his name? And you answer with Il s'appelle Martin His name is Martin Or literally it means He calls Okay, literally it means He calls himself Martin Right? So now let's look at the question What is her name? Elle s'appelle comment? Comment elle s'appelle? Comment s'appelle-t-elle? Elle, elle s'appelle Emily. Let's move to the next one. To ask for one's well-being or to ask simply asking, how are you? Now you have here, ça va? Comment ça va? Comment vas-tu? As is silent. Comment allez-vous? There's a link here. So, ça va? Comment ça va? Comment vas-tu? Comment allez-vous? It means how are you? Ça va? Can be used as a question or as an answer. Just by changing the answer and share. The question should be ça va? The answer should be ça va? As silent, très bien. As silent, comme si comme ça, je vais bien. Okay, so it means what does it mean? Ça va here means okay. Oui, merci means yes, thank you. Ça va bien means ça va bien means okay. Pas mal means not bad. Très bien means very good. Comme si comme ça means more or less, je vais bien means I am fine. Now, let's look at the question. Ça va. Let's look at this question. Well, if you notice, there are one verb which is used repeatedly. Now, you have here, 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 and here. All these four means, actually, it means, it comes from the verb Ali. Ali here means to go. Later, you're going to see how Ali is conjugated and how it is used in a sentence. Okay? But not in this clip. Alright? Ali means here yeah, to go. Now, let's move to the next question. You have to ask for an address. So, you have again to and vu. So, this is asking where do you live and where here is u. So you have to habit où, où habit tu, vous habitez où, où habitez vous. Okay. Now let's look at the pronunciation. How it is pronounced. 
Two are beat, es is silent, and h is also silent. Two are beat, u, okay? So h is silent, and this one is silent. U are beat two, and vous habitez. There should be a link or liaison there. Vous habitez u, okay? So now, how do we answer to this question? J'habite à Paris. J'habite à Nice. I live in Paris and I live in Nice. Let's look at the expression j'habite. Actually, it comes from je and habite. Je means I, habite means live. But why, but why does it become, does it change to j for strophe? Because when je here, meets the verb which starts with the vowel A, E, I, O, U, H, and Y, it will become G apostrophe. That's why you have here Jabit because a bit starts with the spelling H here. Okay? So actually, Je habit here is the same like Jabit. You should answer with yes or no. And here you have we oui for yes, non for no. So yeah, you have here we oui, je suis français, non je suis belge, non we oui, like you have a G at the end, non je suis français, oui je suis malaisienne. Right? Let's move to the next one. Il est belge. Il est belge, belge, stress energy. Oui, il est belge, non, il est malaisien. Now, this is how it is pronounced. This is il, this is l, but when you add, add est, it becomes a bit different. Il est, there's a liaison there. Il est. Can you see that? Good, it means. He is and she is. Alright, now let's move to the next one. To present oneself. Okay, you use moi. Remember, oi is pronounced as wa, not oi. So, this one is moi, je suis Frédéric et toi. Moi, je suis Jessica. Sweet. The S at the end is silent. Moi, je suis 
je suis Frédéric et toi, moi, je suis Jessica. Me, I am Frédéric and you, me, I am Jessica. Now, to tell one's nationality, okay, you have moi, je suis français, as I learn, okay, et vous, the T is silent too, this one also silent. Moi, je suis français. Et vous, monsieur. This is monsieur. Moi, je suis belge. Stress at the G and S is silent. Moi, je suis français. Et vous, monsieur. Moi, je suis belge. Me, I am French. And you, sir. Me, I am Belgian. Okay. That will be all for today. So, you have here some useful expressions to use in a daily conversation okay all right just please remember to practice okay to repeat the questions and the answer and do ask questions if you don't understand so i'm wishing